In this lesson, you're going to learn to simplify rational expressions. Remember that a rational expression is a fraction, or an expression with a fraction in it, that's made up of polynomials. So either in the numerator, the denominator, or both, you're going to see polynomials. Now this first question, simplify 42 over 7, this 42 sevenths is not a rational expression. That's just a fraction, it's made of two integers. And I know that you know 42 divided by 7 equals 6, but I want you to think about it in terms of its factors. So let's look at that one first. The prime factorization of 42 is going to be 2 times 3 times 7. 2 3's are 6, 6 7's are 42. And we're going to divide that by 7. So all we've done so far is rewritten the 42 in terms of its factors. The reason that 7 divided into 42 gives us 6 is because 7 is a factor of 42. So when we divide that factor, 7 divided by 7, we get a 1, and 1 times 2 times 3 is 6. The reason that I'm talking about this first is because I want you to apply this concept to rational expressions. When you're trying to divide polynomials, I want you to think about it in terms of factors. Let's take a look at problem number two. Problem number two is a rational expression. There's a polynomial both in the numerator and the denominator, so definitely a rational expression. Notice that this expression is already factored. And we know that not because there are all of these parentheses. That's not how you know that it's factored. We know that it's factored because it's all multiplication. There's multiplication here, here, and here. I know there's addition and subtraction within the parentheses, but outside of the parentheses, everything's being multiplied together. In the numerator, it's being multiplied. In the denominator, it's being multiplied. That's very important to notice that detail. Since it's already factored, we don't have to do the factoring. We can just look to see which factors are shared by the numerator and the denominator. So we see that x plus 1 is, is a common factor for both the numerator and the denominator. So we can do this. We can divide x plus 1 by itself. And of course, anything divided by itself is 1, except 0. If we look at the other two factors left in the numerator, we'll see that there's still a common factor with the denominator. x minus 5 is a factor of both the numerator and the denominator. We can divide x minus 5 by itself and get another 1. Finally, we can simplify this to 2x plus 3 times 1 times 1, which just gives 2x plus 3 divided by, and this is just 1 times 1, and there's no need to put the 1 in the denominator. Let's take a look at problem number 3. 15x squared plus 25x minus 10 divided by 3x minus 1. Definitely a rational expression. It has a polynomial in the numerator and it has a polynomial in the denominator. What I want you to notice here is we could use synthetic division or long division to divide 3x minus 1 into the numerator, but it's usually easier to factor and do some reducing if possible. So let's try that. First, for the numerator, we see 15 and 25 and minus 10 all have a common factor of 5. So let's divide that out first. That's going to give 5, 3x squared, plus 25 divided by 5 is 5 with the x, and minus 10 divided by 5 is 2. And that's going to be over 3x minus 1. Now 3x minus 1 can't be factored any further. Now we need to factor what's inside the parentheses in the numerator. So let's do that. I'm going to bring that down here. That's going to give 5 times 3x minus 1 times x plus 2, and then in the denominator, we'll have 3x minus 1. Now the numerator has been completely factored, and we see that that's what we have up here. We have three factors. We have the 5 times the 3x minus 1 times the x plus 2. And that means that we can compare factors at this point. There's a common factor of 3x minus 1 both in the numerator and the denominator. So we can reduce that. We can divide it by itself, and that gives a 1 on top or a 1 on bottom. And then if we do the multiplication, in the numerator we've got 5 times 1 times x plus 2. And then in the denominator we just have a 1, so there's no need to write that. We could go ahead and simplify this a little further just by distributing, getting rid of the parentheses. And that's going to give 5x plus 10. Number 1 simplified to 6, number 2 simplified to 2x plus 3, and number 3 simplified to 5x plus 10. Now you know a bit more about simplifying rational expressions. See you next time.